Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are on the third Goldie Box spoiler video for winter 2022. If you don't know what Goldie Box is, it's a seasonal lifestyle subscription box. It's my subscription box. I do all the things for it. And there's already been two spoiler videos released, eight of the 16 items. There are a total of 16 items actually this season. There's going to be 17 because we had a delayed item last season that I said I would include in winter as well. So at the end of this video, you're going to have 75% of the Goldie Box spoilers. The last one will come pretty close to the actual date of customization. I'm going to try my hardest to get it done as quickly as possible when I return, but I am going out of town for the weekend. So you will not, if you're, when you see this posted, I'm already out of town, probably already edited this while I was out of town, and then I won't be back till Sunday. So you know that you're definitely not going to get it until at least Sunday when I get into town, and maybe then I can film it. Who knows how long it'll take me to edit it and do all the things, but I am going to try to get it to you as quickly as possible. This box is customizable and the first day of customization is the first day of winter. So it's going to be December 21st at 2 p.m. I'm going to try to get into this really quickly because I have talked about all the details and everything. You can also go to goldiebox.com, www.goldieboxed, boxed with an ed.com to learn more just about the box, about the values, and I have all the spoilers there on one page now. So one special thing I do about the box is I do always have a family friendly item. I like your kids to be just as excited as you are when your Goldie Box gets there because not only are you getting your items, but there's always something special in there, in there for them as well. If that's your choice, obviously this is a customizable box so you can customize that or not, but it is a way to get your kid kind of involved. This time it is for ages six and plus. And it is from, you know, I actually don't love the name. The name of the brand is The Chubby One or Little Chubby One. And you can create your own erasers. It says food series, but you see someone here did it and they have like a elephant. Honestly, it just says food series because the instructions actually tell you how to make a burger. And I, I don't know if this is a donut or something like that, but it tells you how to make that. It does require that you bake these. So you need to put them in the oven at 270 degrees for 30 minutes and then they are erasers. So I'm going to show you what it starts as. That's what I'm saying. Like literally you can make anything, any shape, any kind of eraser you want and it really actually erases the pencil afterwards. So it's really cool because they can make their eraser any shape, any color. You can use like little cookie cutters if you want to like do little things like that as well. Or they can just like with their hands create different shapes and items. And here's just some options on the front and some options on the back. So you make it, you bake it, and then you can erase a pencil with your creation. So that is kind of a fun uh, little project from the brand Little Chubby One. I've always said that you don't have to have children to use the family-friendly item. There are several of the family-friendly items that I regularly use. So there's always, if you want to make your own erasers and you just want really cute erasers for your office, that's fine as well. It's definitely not specific to any specific age, but I always try to choose something that a parent could use with their child if that is their preference. The next item is a brand I've had before, and it's a product I've had before, but not in this box. I received it from a different box in a different flavor. So I've actually not specifically used this one over time. I've used it just enough to make sure like the scent and taste isn't anything awful, but not like for longevity results. It is a sweet lip mask and it's from AMNH. The one I had in the past is gold and it has glitter in it. This is biodegradable glitter and has little glitter hearts in it as well. This one is called their Watermelon Sugar High. The one that I had before was gold and I just liked the results. Our lips need just as much love as the rest of our skin in the winter. If you get really chapped dry lips because of the dry air, I invested a lot in lip masks and lip oils to solve that problem. So this is a lip mask from a brand that I've loved and I've had in here before. It uses vegan collagen. Collagen doesn't really penetrate your skin, but it still does have some anti-aging and moisturizing benefits. Collagen is not meant to penetrate your skin. So when people like, when brands claim they can rebuild your collagen by putting collagen on top, 
that's not true but I do see results with this mask and that's all that really matters to me it also has vitamin E which is very moisturizing I can read you the rest of the ingredients because it's a pretty small ingredient list vegan collagen aloe vera gel jojoba oil so that's moisturizing as well aloe vera juice vitamin E watermelon flavor oil golden biodegradable glitter hearts and let me see if I can pull a heart out of something you know, there's not an easily accessible heart. You might be able to see it right there in the corner, but there are cute little hearts in here. So it has this glitter and you just apply a little thin layer like that for three to five minutes. They say you will feel a tingling sensation. I don't feel it. So I don't know why it says that. Even the other one that I got from them that was a different gold version says like, you'll feel a tingling sensation and that's how it's working. It might be because my lips are already really moisturized because I do like to put a lot of stuff on them that maybe I'm not getting that same experience, but three to five minutes, wipe it off. I've always had like great moisture results from this particular mask. The next item is a bag. It You can definitely fit a laptop in this bag. It's a corduroy bag and it's in this gray color. And so you have this if you're just like carrying a laptop or some books, it's like kind of a book bag, right? And you also have this shoulder strap that is adjustable if you really rather have it as a crossbody. I love this, like it's really thick corduroy or corduroy if I'm saying it like everything just feels of great quality and it also has a zipper pocket on the inside we can open it and show you the size of that pocket so there we go like that the accent for the zipper is silver pieces and then for moving this across these are black for the gray and black look to that and it's 15 by 15 they say 15 by 15 by 2 this way so two deep and then 15 by 15 it's pretty big like I said I fit my laptop in here I have a 13 and a half inch laptop and it fits in mine I've become a huge fan of corduroy and I was looking for a corduroy hat I don't know why I just thought that would be a very cute like winter type thing and then I saw this bag and then I liked the bag even more so we ended up getting a bag this box for our winter fashion item I feel like maybe I'm speeding through these a little bit faster, but my final item in this video is a skincare item. It is from Nuria, N-U-R-I-A, and this is their Moisture Replenishing Serum. So as you can see with the mask and now with the serum in the winter, also I did a hand lotion in my first video. The winter is about moisturization, kind of combating that dry wind. This is what the bottle looks like. It is not see-through, which I like. And it has a pump that when you turn the cap, the pump top opens. And then I'm gonna show you here, you just touch the tap and then you have this really thick, wonderful serum to put all over your skin. This is intended to be put all over your face, but I guess you could put it anywhere. Always use any extra skincare from the back of your hand on your hands, cause hands age too. And I feel like you can tell someone's age by looking at their hands, so. A lot of us focus skincare on the face, forget to focus it on the hands as well. So make sure you're adding it to the back of your hands whenever you're worrying about your face and your neck too. That's super important as well. But you see it absorbs really well. It does have my favorite anti-aging ingredient, which is sodium hyaluronate. If you've watched my channel for a while, you may already know that. It also has squalane or squalene, uh, depending how you say it. This is an olive derived, so it is a uh, vegan. They also have a ingredient that I think the common term is everlasting flower. Let me check. Yes, everlasting flower oil. So it has everlasting flower oil and then squalane from pressed olives and then that sodium hyaluronate. This ingredient list is also really small. It's water-based, so the first ingredient is water. Then it has polysorbate 20. Then helichrysum italicum flower water. That's the everlasting flower, way easier to say than that. Then it has the squalane, then it has the sodium hyaluronate. So all the active like doing something ingredients other than water are right at the top of the list for this. So we love that. Then it does have four or five more ingredients at the end. It does include fragrance. I like the scent. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Like clean or rainforesty or something like that very refreshing 
not overly floral, still feminine in a way. I wish that I could, you know, I wish that I had their notes on exactly what it's supposed to smell like, but that is the fragrance in there because there's not an ingredient that's giving it that scent. So that's definitely the fragrance. This says, twist the dosing bottle cap, gently dispense into your hand and then apply to your face and neck. Pretty simple, maximum hydration. You want to put this on, this is a serum, and then your moisturizer over it because hyaluronic acid in the form of sodium hyaluronate, which is how it is in this bottle, works best when moisture can be pulled into your skin because that's what it does. It absorbs its own weight in moisture times like a thousand. And those molecules are going into your skin, so it's absorbing them into your skin. So you're kind of pulling that moisture from a moisturizer or something else. If you already live in a humid climate, it might pull that moisture in from the humidity, but during the winter, we don't really have that. So you wanna make sure that this isn't the only step in your skincare. Anytime you're using sodium hyaluronate, not just with this specific product, make sure that you're applying something that adds that moisture outside otherwise you might accidentally be doing the opposite of what you're trying to do so that's just a helpful tip on using one of my favorite ingredients ever so there you have your third set of four all of these are going to be linked down in the description below i also list the msrp the msrp i use is directly from the company if you find it for a different price somewhere else that has nothing to do with msrp msrp is actually the suggested retail price but they might have rules that allow retailers to post it for less i'm happy with you finding it elsewhere by the way i have no problem with that that's what i do when i research other boxes when i'm customizing other boxes and choosing my items but some people ask me when they find it somewhere else like oh i found something for 12 dollars um, that is not the MSRP. So what I use is MSRP for that reason. And that's what gets listed in my description box. I usually don't give that disclaimer. I don't think any of these are actually listed for less anywhere else. So I'm not sure why I'm giving it in this video, but I just guess cause I said the word MSRP. I wanted to explain what that means and where I get that number. I hope you like these. Please leave some comments down below how you're feeling about the spoiler so far. I'm sorry you're going to get the last video so close to the end, but I hope that this is already helping you make some of your decisions and marking what you want and don't want. However I do it though, spoilers are coming and we're almost ready to customize. I'm very, very excited for this box. I worked really hard for this box. I hope you guys are loving it um, so far and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!